we were going to find a lot of information out there on the electromagnetic spectrum, but I wanted to give a little bit of a foundational idea here on the electromagnetic spectrum because it really relates to that energy that makes it to us from the sun. Electromagnetic spectrum really is looking at radiation. Now, when we think about radiation, oftentimes we're thinking about this guy, gamma radiation. And this is the stuff that's going to kill you. But radiation really has to do with energy that travels in the form of a wave. So energy wave form. Okay, so energy in a wave form, there's a lot of different types of radiation. And so let's talk about them. I want to start over here where the waves are the longest. Now, when we talk about wavelength, we're talking about peak to peak or trough to trough. And our longest waves that we have out there are radio waves. Now, radio waves have a very long wave, and so they can travel kind of far, but they're not very strong at all. If you go into a parking garage or if you go through a tunnel or something like that, you might lose your radio um, signal that you have. The other problem uh, or the other thing about radio is that um, we can do slight adjustments, right? If you're in your car and you're um, playing with a little knob, you're going to be changing the megahertz and the hertz is the way that we measure these, the hertz of those waves. The radio waves are going to be slightly different speeds depending on what station is broadcasting that. So radio waves are out there. Um, they aren't very strong. They don't go through very much. Microwaves are going to be our next one. We go, wait a second. Radio is pretty benign, right? It doesn't hurt us so much, but microwaves are special. Now, what makes microwaves special is they have a really cool relationship with water. H2O, or we're going to draw our oxygen atom and then two little hydrogens sticking out the side of it. When a microwave comes along and that microwave is going to be hitting that water molecule, it absorbs it. So the water molecule absorbs the microwave. And as it absorbs that microwave, it actually gets very excited. And so what starts to happen is that water molecule just starts to do all sorts of vibrations. Okay? And that vibrating um, actually causes the water in our food to um, move around and to bump and create heat. And that's what heats our food. If you run your microwave and there's nothing with water in it, then you're going to kind of ruin your microwave. Okay. So that's going to be another wave. Now, heat energy, we know the, that um, heat is going to be traveling in a number of different ways through convection, conduction, and radiation. But um, sometimes we're going to have heat waves. These guys usually are going to um, just cause warmth. So if someone is sitting too close to you, you might feel some um, heat energy radiating off of them. If you're toasting your uh, bread and you look over the top of the toaster, sometimes you can see how that infrared energy starts to bend that light a little bit. We'll talk about that in another discussion, but that's mainly going to be that heat energy. Okay? These three guys are what we refer to as long wave radiation. Okay, radio waves, microwaves, and heat energy. Our short wave radiation is going to be these other guys. Now, I want to talk a little bit about light energy. When we're thinking about light energy, I'm thinking about the light that's coming down on this piece of paper, and that light energy is coming down. Now, that light energy, uh, if we were to look at it as um, the electromagnetic spectrum would, it's actually going to be six different colors. It's going to be the whole color spectrum all kind of mixed together. The red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and purple, they all come together to form white light. Okay. Now, I'm going to put my red pen out here. What's happening, actually, is the light energy is coming down and hitting this particular part of the cap. And the part that's radiating back out, the part that is not being absorbed, is going to be the red waves. And so the lens on the camera and my eyes are going to be seeing that red light. With the black there, um, yeah, it's going to be reflecting because of the surface, but that black is absorbing most of the light energy. Right. We're going to come back to that idea as we start understanding what happens to light energy when it hits the surface. 
Okay. The next guy over for our even shorter wavelength is where we start to get into some of this dangerous stuff. This is going to be our ultraviolet radiation. Notice how this is infrared on the red side and the ultraviolet radiation. Before we move on, I want to talk really quickly about our miraculous eyes. See, what happens is the light comes in as different wavelengths. So the red colors are going to be a little bit longer wavelengths and they get shorter and shorter and shorter. This little band that we see here is so very narrow that has all of these different guys compared to the rest of that color spectrum. But with that white light, that light comes in. And depending on the frequency of wavelength that bounces back off, my eye is going to be going, oh, there's a higher frequency or there's a lower frequency or there's a combination of this frequency of light energy bouncing off of whatever color of surface it might be and then my brain is processing that and it's going oh that is identified as green and yellow and red and purple okay ultraviolet energy is where we start to see things getting a little bit more precarious a little bit more dangerous you see these waves as they start to come across light energy um, especially as it's compared to us as people, right? Uh, for us as people, our eyeballs are able to bring in light energy and the light energy for the most part hits our skin and then bounces right back off. But the ultraviolet energy, we're a little concerned about that guy and that's why we put on sunscreen. See the ultraviolet rays, they can actually get into our cells and they start to mess with um, the, the, um, the skin cells, they start to mess with the DNA that's in there. And so as the cells start to reproduce, they're kind of mutated and we run into all sorts of problems there. So the ultraviolet energy, um, all of these guys, ultraviolet, certainly X-ray and gamma ray are very unhealthy in large quantities. Right? Now that I say that, let's think a little bit about X-rays. Very, very high frequency. And so you might remember how radio waves don't go through very much, but these higher frequencies, they do go through a lot. They're very powerful waves. The x-rays are so strong that they actually go right through the fleshy part. When they go through the bone, they get slowed down a little bit. And that's why we use x-rays to get pictures of our bones, because it'll go right through the fleshy part and it shows kind of um, what remains with the harder and the bonier part that's there. And that's going to be what our x-rays do. The gamma rays are even crazier. And those gamma rays are going so fast, they actually are going to be killing most cells when people get cancer and they go through radiation therapy. Usually um, some of their cells are exposed to that gamma radiation. All right. So we start over here with radio waves, very, very long wavelength. All of these guys over here, light, ultraviolet, x-ray, and gamma are short wave, radiation. We have our radio waves, very long wavelength, travels pretty far, but does not penetrate through very much. We have our microwaves. Those have that special relationship. And we're going to come back to this idea as we start looking at ultraviolet rays and ozone. But water is going to absorb those microwaves. We have our heat energy. One of the ways that it travels is in the form of a wave. We have our light spectrum and our eyes do miraculous things with that light. Um, our earth does a lot with the light as well. And so we're going to start to understand how that affects that white light. Our ultraviolet, our x-ray, and our gamma ray are our other wavelengths. And the wavelengths get shorter and shorter and shorter and shorter as we um, move down the electromagnetic spectrum.